guys welcome back to my youtube channel hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is bb80 guys and i told you i'll be bringing hot shows in my blog and today i want to take you to the matters regarding education and see who i have in my show today mwalemo mr selvista omohand salamu ni kwa migu na kugoteana so like this right like this karibu sana kwa shambu so sawa ambia watu weni nani Ah, mimi mwanzo mimi ni mwalimu Sylvester. Ah, wale ambao walio Kiswahili, ah, Teacher Sylvester. Ah, nikiwa mwalimu, nimefunza kwa miaka sasa. Sasa ni zaidi ya miaka I think it's now 14 years. 14 years. In the teaching uh, profession. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I want us to talk about matters regarding education. Mm -hmm. Given in mind that this is mm -hmm. the week that the class that are sitting for their KCP, mm -hmm. but they, how do you see the students? Are they ready for the exam? Uh, very well. Uh, we, we, we did uh, exams uh, from Monday, mm -hmm. Monday which was uh, the other day. Yes. Uh, we did exams. Uh, that is case in the We started with uh, mathematics, uh, uh, then uh, English, then uh, writing. Mm -hmm. and then we also did um, uh, Kiswahili, science. Uh. Mm -hmm. um, to me, you know, I've been just, uh, I've been getting the exams. Yeah? Yes. And I can say that uh, the reaction, you know, we may not know uh, what the students have done in yeah. the exams, yeah. but uh, we just look at uh, how are they behaving, you know, mm -hmm. are, they, are they panicking, you know, are they panicking, are they okay, mm -hmm. you know, we look at such things. And, um, and, and, and I'm glad that uh, I didn't see uh, any child, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they were so confident. Mm -hmm. and they so were so ready. That, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, they are going to do so. We are believing them. Yeah, yeah. I, that is my trust that you are going to do very well. So these Thank signs, you. these signs of children panicking, like vomiting, some of them even faint because they have the phobia of the exam. You never experienced some of this when, in the areas of your supervision. Very well. Uh, in the centre that I was initiating the exams, mm -hmm. I didn't see such, but mm -hmm. I believe that uh, uh, through the media, through the news, uh, yeah. we've had so, uh, some of those cases. Uh, yeah. Uh, even where uh, children are not able to do the exams uh, mm -hmm. because of fear. Mm -hmm. uh, because of maybe uh, the situation which was there, I remember we are uh, we just post COVID and we are still in the COVID one night. Mm -hmm. uh, so I believe that uh, yeah we cannot uh, uh, arrest such cases. They are there, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, but I believe that uh, uh, the students are very ready. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been working very hard, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that we are, we are going to do better. Mm -hmm. yes. Now when we talk about uh, the exams, yes. when I was <laughs> looking at the news yesterday, mm -hmm. I saw some of the students. Some of them were mepata watoto. Yes. They are doing the exams from the from the hospital. Some of them are suffering from COVID-19. Others are having these underlying conditions. Mm -hmm. So how do you make sure that every student who is under the register is doing the exam? Uh, well, I think uh, number one, uh, let me just take you back a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Ministry of Education, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are so many students who are not registered, eh? yes. maybe because of one reason or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe the schools uh, didn't have such capacity to register them. Yeah. But uh, uh, one of the directives from the Ministry was mm -hmm. that uh, all children, including those who did not register mm -hmm. for the exams, mm -hmm. must sit for those exams. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it was right. Uh, the head teacher said, uh, you know, the teachers are now the center managers, right? Yeah, the center so they managers. have to write down mm -hmm. the number of students who didn't register mm -hmm. uh, and who are eligible to do the exam. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the exams are packed, extra exams are packed uh, mm -hmm. to each and everyone who didn't do it, who, who didn't register, mm -hmm. including those who registered. Yeah. So, so far, mm -hmm. uh, we have we have few cases. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for example, the schools, the schools I have been to, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we had one, mm -hmm. one, in fact, one missed. Uh, another one missed, not, the exam. Uh, missed the exam. Uh, Why? I, I, I think uh, I registered and then they traveled back to uh, overseas country. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the coming back was a problem because of the, the, the COVID protocols and all that. Uh -huh. uh, remember, we are living in very uh, interesting times uh, yeah. of COVID 19. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have such cases where the students will miss exams here mm -hmm. and there because of maybe. Um, but but uh, but uh, uh, the directive from the ministry is yeah. that uh, even when the child, when the, the, the maybe the, now for this case um, our total or ticket, mm -hmm. uh, even if they are pregnant, right, yes, they must have the exams. Yes, yeah, because Whichever I case. saw in Kenyatta Hospital some of them did the exam while still in the maternity. Yes, and you see, and I want to take this opportunity also to thank the 
the ministry mm -hmm. uh, through Professor Magoa yes. has done a good job. Eh? Yeah. Uh, because you know, you can remember sometimes back, mm -hmm. uh, if you are pregnant, you missed the exam. Sure. Uh, if you didn't register, you know, that's the end of it. Yeah. But you must make sure that uh, each and every child, yeah. you know, assesses the exams. Because remember, uh, we are trying to look at the 2030 uh, vision. Eh? Yes. Uh, vision 2030. Mm -hmm. And you see, the only way we can, uh, the only way uh, we can uh, combat poverty yes. is through education, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, and such forums, yeah, and I believe that those who are viewing us, uh, yeah. uh, uh, so these forums are here because of, uh, you know, they're educating you, yeah. you know, we are using these social platforms, uh, social media and mm -hmm. all that because of our education. Yeah. So we have to say that uh, for us even to move a notch higher, yeah. we must make sure that uh, we, 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 we concentrate on our basic education. Yeah. We build us from there because the, these children are our leaders of tomorrow. Yeah. So if you don't take care of them, then rest assured that uh, we will not have the government that uh, we enjoy even uh, as we go forward. Because we say that. our children are our next generation. Exactly. They are. Now, where yes. are you picking your exams from? Are you picking it from the school or from the, from the DC's office where we have the Ministry of Education offices? Well, uh, exams are normally picked from the DC's office. Eh? Yeah. Uh, so it is the uh, same each, protocol? Each and every county has a sub-county sub uh, where the exams are, uh, uh, are packed in a container. Yeah. So each and every morning, yeah. uh, the centre manager, who is now, remember sometimes back with cases of um, uh, children cheating exams yeah. and all that. So to cap all this, mm -hmm. uh, remember when uh, uh, the, the then now the security, the interior, mm -hmm. the, the Ministry of the Interior, Matiangi, uh, that is Matiangi, Matiangi. Where he came up with some resolutions eh, yeah. that uh, even the head teachers mm -hmm. must take full control. Yes. So head teachers are now fully uh, centre managers. So they come each and every morning to the, uh, to, to, to the sub-county office, mm -hmm. they pick the exams mm -hmm. together with the policeman, yeah. then they escort the exam to the centre mm -hmm. and where they'll get the supervisor yeah. and the individual exams. Yes. So the supervisor and the individual will eliminate the exams in the classroom mm -hmm. and make sure that uh, one, mm -hmm. the children must sit uh, 1.5 meters uh, mm -hmm. away from each other so mm -hmm. that uh, we cover any form uh, of, of cheating. cheating. Yes. What about when they are doing the exams? Are you observing the COVID-19 measures that they are given are. by the Ministry of Health? They actually are, mm -hmm. and uh, it was interesting uh, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, even those those uh, uh, schools where the, where schools that come from arid and semi-arid areas, yeah. uh, where some of these uh, materials are very difficult to get. Them, mm -hmm. Uh, the government uh, agencies, you know, organizations mm -hmm. supplied them with the, uh, the sanitizers, mm -hmm. uh, soap, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. you know, the mask, mm -hmm. and all that to make sure that uh, at least in one way or another mm -hmm. we try to fight the COVID-19 mm -hmm. as much as we are doing the exams. The exams. Now when we talk about the exams, given that now our grade fours, now let me take you back to the to grade fours, yes. they did their exams and now they are supposed to stay at home quietly like four months. Well, uh, let me first and foremost uh, appreciate the fact that uh, uh, we have the new curriculum. Yes. The competent based curriculum. curriculum uh, yes. The CBC, which are uh, in uh, due time, uh, yeah. that in three years, uh, mm -hmm. will have full enrollment because now, you know, right now we are now uh, aiming to grade five. Uh, yes. Uh, so next uh, ne next year we'll, next year we'll have grade five and then grade six, eh? mm -hmm. and then they will uh, graduate to junior secondary. Yes. So uh, they did uh, assessment. Uh, you know nowadays you call them assessment. Assessment. Call them yeah. Assessments, uh, yeah. Uh, because uh, you know we are assessing the child. You yeah. Know, we are not just doing exam because we are failing. We are doing away with the exams. Yes. Even the exams even in primary level when you used to do exams, you know you are shivering. You yeah. Know, it's you know, intense uh, because you don't want to take the last position. Nowadays, you know those children <laughs> are just But you know that is not grading. Actually, there is no grading. You know. <laughs> It's and uh, you know there are those students eh, which we have uh, we have actually one two three four mm -hmm. so they exceeding expectation yeah. meeting expectation mm -hmm. uh, you know approaching, uh, approaching expectation and uh, below expectation, below expectation yes. uh. so uh -huh. and you know we, we, in CBC we say that there is no weak child eh, yeah, okay. because you know we are talking about uh, the, the, the abilities the abilities of the child because even these children eh, mm -hmm. each and everyone has uh, has specific abilities mm -hmm. has talents yeah. you know God has given this you know God cannot bless you with everything sure yeah there are those who are academically fit, there are those who uh, maybe in one way or another, they are very good at uh, uh, drawing, uh, you know, art. Yeah, drawing yeah. art and all that. Uh. Yeah, so we did assessment uh, mm -hmm. uh, about, uh, that was actually the NEC, the Kenya, uh, the, 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 the NEC assessment, uh, uh -huh. countrywide. Uh. Yes. So uh, 
the papers were downloaded there and then children were able to do them. They were taken through various activities. Mm -hmm. We have assessments, mm -hmm. we have um, uh, those learning areas, mathematics activities, mm -hmm. uh, science activities, uh, mm -hmm. and so many other activities. So the children were, the children were actually uh, you know, uh, taken through all those stages so that they can... They, now, after this, after grade five, grade four, mm -hmm. uh, is this child fit enough? Mm -hmm. Which, which level is this child? As much as we're saying there's no you know, grading, but again, with this child, children here, uh, to find out that they, where are they, you know? You know, assessment. So it's called assessment. Yeah. So we did assessment, and um, next time, uh, that, is, that will be, now, previously, now the other ones, remember, it is so, you know, some people will not understand. Right? Yeah. Remember, during COVID-19, uh, last year, in the midst of COVID-19, uh, yeah. uh, the grade four and class eight reported back to school. When the others were when at home. When the others are at home. Yeah. So next time, mm -hmm. they are going to be at home mm -hmm. when, when others, others from grade school. five, yeah. grade, that is grade one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then grade five, mm -hmm. six, seven, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they are going to be in, uh, in school. Yes. So people will ask, now, where, where are we, why are you doing so? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we cannot have two classes. Exactly. Uh, uh, two classes in one class because yeah. if you say okay, let's let our grade four go and you know and learn uh, and learn next time. Mm -hmm. We're going to have grade grade, grade five now yeah. in the uh, in class time. and the current class five in the same same class. Yeah. So you see, and these are same teachers yeah. and all that. So we'll be yeah. about confusion. Yeah. So that's why they are going to settle home uh, for a full time mm -hmm. and then uh, when they get back, mm -hmm. they get back in a van. And that is uh, now in grade five. In grade five. Yeah, exactly. Now when you talk about the challenges. You know, the students go through challenges, as teachers go through challenges. So can you talk some of the challenges like you as teacher that you have gone through when handling our children when they were in school? Well, first, uh, uh, you know, this year, I think last year and part of this year, uh, it just all mixed up with so many challenges uh, concerning education. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at um, uh, last year, we had uh, the COVID-19. So you can imagine the child is coming from home uh, with the COVID-19. Now, yeah. uh, the child has stayed at home for the for a full year. Uh, the child, um, uh, the, 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 you know, there are those uh, uh, developments where the child has to learn, mm -hmm. the child has to do things, the child has to... So, they, they are not learning, you know. They were so... They were actually very quiet at home, you can imagine. Yeah. A full year without doing anything, mm -hmm. so you can imagine. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that now mm -hmm. these children are actually, actually at home. Yeah. So while at home, mm -hmm. no learning was taking place. Mm -hmm. Now they are coming back to mm -hmm. school. Yeah. When they are now in school, mm -hmm. we now need to you know handle them. Mm -hmm. Children even uh, were even had forgotten how to write their names. So that is one challenge. Yeah. The COVID one nine. Because they stayed almost a year without exactly. even having a book or a pen exactly. to write. How many children? How many children? How many children? How many children are actually? How many children are actually out there who are pregnant? How many children are out there who are, who are displaced? The, the parents lost, uh, the, you know, their uh, jobs, jobs. Their you know? businesses went yes. down. You can imagine. In so even corner. coming back to class, you know, we needed even uh, at our school, we needed to uh, uh, come in with the, uh, 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 an office. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's actually challenges, you know, mixed up with so many other challenges to do with education. You can remember the school fees, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. absenteeism, you yeah. know, uh, discipline cases mm -hmm. where now, you know, the children after staying home for a quite uh, a longer time, mm -hmm. they acquire other behaviors from outside. Exactly. Now, coming to school now, you need now to, to try tame and, them. You know, tame this, uh, you know, it is not actually easy. Yeah. So, there are so many challenges. If you dare to talk about them, we can talk about them and talk about them and talk about them, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we need to now, we talk about um, all the. We have talked about the KCP, we have talked about how our kids are prepared. We have wrapped up so many shows. So, what can you tell the parents staying with their children back at home? It's an uh, interesting trend because the, ch the children and their parents are going to stay home uh -huh. for quite a uh, uh, number of weeks. Eh? That will be about uh, seven weeks, you know. Uh, it's not easy. Seven weeks is just like, it's, it's, it's almost two months. Right? Yeah, two months. Uh, so, I so, uh, would to advise the parents uh, out there. Can you parents uh, uh, find a way of engaging your children? Eh? Yeah. Uh, for example, you can uh, decide to engage them through uh, media. Uh, I know the case, the KICD are going to have a, a, a program where 
children are going to be taught uh, uh, through online. Mm -hmm. uh, also, out there, you, you have your brothers, mm -hmm. they, they have their, you know, their bigger siblings, uh, yeah. uh, they can actually organize a class for them. You can also, also reach out to a teacher, mm -hmm. and this teacher can actually, and this teacher can actually uh, help you in one way or another to make sure that these children, we, 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 you know, we make a, 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 a good career for our children. So that when they come back to uh, school, we don't now pick up from zero. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So what can we tell our viewers? Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell so that anytime we bring such hot stuff, you get to get the notification. The next time show, I'm going to bring my students who are going to tell you how the exam was. Till next time, this show is a wrap. We say the what? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Okay. <laughs>